President Trump is poised to enlist Russia's help. He's trying to in key international conflicts. National Security Advisor John Bolton says election meddling will also be on the radar during the Helsinki summit. Joining me now, author of Spy Master, best-selling author Brad Thor. Great to have you with us tonight, Brad. Thanks. Great to be here. Okay, so you have studied Russia inside and out. You write about it. Uh, you talk to the experts. What do you make of where we are in this relationship between our two presidents now? Well, there's no question that between our two nations, it's at an all-time low. I mean, it's, it's, it's very, very bad. And Winston Churchill had that great phrase, which is, jaw-jaw is better than war-war. So if you're talking and not warring, that's actually a good thing. Um, you know, you've got a sophisticated audience. I think they understand what's at stake here. Uh, I think a, a fair-minded person can say, Putin's a dangerous guy. I mean, he's a former KGB officer. He's very smart. He knows how to get to Trump if he wants to get to Trump. Now, President Trump, I don't know how much prep he's done for this, but I will say this, that with John Bolton behind him, nobody's going to take advantage of Donald Trump. Uh, and I, I don't care what Bolton says now that he's with Trump. He is a Russia hawk. Mm -hmm. He does not trust Putin. He doesn't trust the Russians. And he's the kind of guy that every American should be taking a breath, saying we're lucky to have Bolton there. This thing in Helsinki is going to be okay. Yeah, and it's interesting because the president, in, in talking about the G7 and saying Russia should be a part of it again, um, it seems to be his philosophy is what you said. They need to be talking. They are involved in everything from North Korea to Syria to the Middle East and beyond. Um, and I think this president thinks there's no point in having conversations if Russia is not a player at the table because they have to be a part of the solution. Yeah, there's no question. And uh, they got shoved out of the G8 and went to the G7 for a good reason, because they annexed Crimea. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's funny from a historical perspective, September 30th of this year will be the 80th anniversary of Neville Chamberlain handing over the Sudetenland to Hitler, that slice of Czechoslovakia, hoping to slake Hitler's thirst for domination. And it didn't. It led us right to World War II. So history doesn't repeat, but it does rhyme. And this is very, this is going to be a very delicate thing for President Trump. But I have to tell you, all of us from both sides, left and right, we have to give him credit for being willing to talk to Putin. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good thing. If nothing works out, at least we tried it. Well, and he, he's still taking heed from going to Singapore and having the sit down with North Korean leader Kim Jong Un. As people now say, they think that uh, the North Koreans are suckering us and that they're still uh, promulgating their, their nuclear program and have no real intentions of scrapping it. Uh, we know the Secretary of State Pompeo was headed there on July 5th. What do you make of our relationship as it's playing out with? that kingdom. Well, I don't think we got anything for that Singapore meeting. I think there was a there was a photo op which served Kim Jong Un a lot more than it did us. And then uh, President Trump, without speaking to Mattis, without speaking to the South Korean president, decides, okay, we're going to suspend our, our military exercises over there. Which a lot of people don't know that every time we put a plane up, the North Koreans have to put one up too, and it costs them a ton of money. Those things were a form of sanctions in and of themselves. So to lose that, to walk away from Singapore with nothing, I, I don't necessarily think that was the art of the deal. Mm -hmm. I, I, there is nothing that I was impressed by with that. I, I, I don't think anything's going to come out of Helsinki, but I don't think it's going to be a net loss for the United okay. States. Well, as you know, the White House will say they got those hostages home and uh, that those uh, war exercises can be restarted at any time. So we'll see. Good luck with yeah. the book, Spymaster. It's out tomorrow. <laughs> I can't wait to read it, Brad. Thank you. Thanks, Shannon.